So no sooner do we get the information that Brian Fuller is giving us a Friday the 13th series that was originally projected to be a prequel, we're getting new updated information straight from Brian Fuller that he gave to Fangoria during an interview on their podcast, and we are in for an even bigger treat than I thought. So as a big Jason Voorhees fan, I am super excited about this series. A little concerned about the direction in which the series was going to go. I heard it's going to be a prequel. Everyone thought it was going to be a prequel. And then it was going to be very limited to what Brian Fuller could use in the series based on the lawsuits that's been happening with Horror Inc. and Victor Miller. So now he has cleared the air on exactly what's going on, what he can use, and what we can expect. Now, in an interview with Fangoria on their podcast, he was asked directly, what characters and locations and whatnot are you allowed to use from the Friday the 13th franchise? And he answered, and I quote, everything. We can use everything. We can go to hell. We can go to space. That's not to say we will do those things. Although if we do go 10 seasons, I will be lobbying hard to go to space. Which right there is kind of mind-blowing to me, so he can use everything in Friday the 13th. I was really under the impression that he could only use certain things, and he was not allowed to use adult Jason Voorhees. So this is a very exciting, because we could be getting adult Jason Voorhees, and even more in this series... But then again, it was labeled as a prequel, but it may not be a prequel. Let's continue on with this interview. He says, A24 and Mark Toffer, who is Victor Miller's lawyer, have beautifully and excruciatingly assembled all of the Friday the 13th rights. As a streaming series, we have the rights to do everything underneath the Friday the 13th umbrella. The movie rights are completely different. They are tied up with New Line and super, super messy and probably won't be untangled anytime soon. But as far as the chickens in the television industry, uh, roost, we have access to anything and everything that Friday the 13th has done up to this point. What? So the Friday the 13th movie rights are completely different than the TV streaming rights. I, I had no idea. I'm obviously, this is why I'm not a lawyer. So... He can do absolutely anything he wants with Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees, anything that happened in the movie if it's going on a TV network or streaming platform. That's crazy, but very exciting because now we're going to get Jason and everything that goes with him. So I am super excited about that. There's even more when he was asked about being pitched as a prequel series and where the timeline's going to be. Now, he did say he's not allowed to say that yet, but he said it's going to be a little less than a prequel series and more than a pre make series. Now, I have no idea what that's supposed to mean, what a pre make series is. I feel like there's going to be a lot of flashbacks. There's going to be a lot of prequel-esque scenes that's going to lead up to present time. I just, I, that's what I'm getting from this. Like we're going to get a lot of scenes, maybe even a full episode or two of Jason as a kid in Camp Crystal Lake being bullied around by other kids, what led to his drowning. Then, then we're going to go back to present time and Jason at Camp Crystal Lake now as an adult in the hockey mask and the machete chopping up people there. That's my interpretation. I want to know what your interpretation is because we, we could have two different ideas of what this means, but I'm just guessing at this point. And since Brian Fuller doesn't want to say, that's all we can do is guess. The last thing he had to say about that was when questioned if Jason's going to be in it, whether he's going to be a kid or the mass killer, he responded with, I think over the course of the series, you will see many familiar manifestations of Jason. Which right there tells me we're going to get both kid Jason and adult Jason. Um, I'm not going to call that confirmation, but I'm kind of calling that confirmation. Kid Jason, adult Jason, I feel like we're going to get both. But keep in mind, too, it also sounds like that we're going to get a lot of Pamela Voorhees, Jason's mom, 
and that obviously will be sent over toward the flashback side of things and what led Jason up to what's going on and things like that. But I'm super excited that we're actually getting Jason in, quote, many manifestations, which means adult Jason in my eyes. Take it as you will. But this is super exciting. I'm glad Brian Fuller has cleared this up. This is even more exciting to me now than it was before. I can't wait. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Hit that like button for me and subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm Kevin, and I'll see you at the concession stands.